Uh, what am I doing here? Okay, it's just going to be <laughs> portrait mode on this one. I guess I'll make this one a short. So you can't. This is that heinous uh, 59 Baseman LTD. But I have an ESR meter, and it says that the, uh, the caps are good. That can't be the only test you perform, right? So it's more than more than that. So let's look at that. And that's fine. That's that's in well, for a lot of people that just that just works, but it's it's not the end all be all. Okay, so take a take a look here. Okay. In circuit leaky. Why is that? In circuit leaky. Wow. Why is that? This one's gonna be fine. Right? Yeah, it's it's fine, even though it's it's twenty percent over. I'm kind of the same for this guy, right? <clears throat> yeah, twenty percent over. And about the same ESR. Well remember this one? These two? These are the series caps that, that form the reservoir cap, and that's what we're focusing on right now. It's saying it's leaky. Look at that. 1.53 ohms. What's this? Oh, is that 1.56 ohms? <clears throat> Pardon me. Just had major surgery. And 1.53 ohms, the same ESR values that, uh, that were presented here on this uh, very expensive meter. Equivalent series resistance is what we're looking at here. Well, these, these caps are in series to make up for a voltage deficit, All right? And obviously the, uh, the capacity for each one of these is gonna it's going to change a little bit. So these are in parallel with each cap, one per cap, just to basically balance resistors. That's going to throw off your meter. This meter and the majority of meters do not ignore other components in the circuit, which is why you should lift the leg up and take a peek, you know? So unless you have... Um, an old school uh, meter that uses RF, which will ignore the other components in the circuit, like the old uh, Paco, Paco stuff, which I shouldn't have gotten rid of that one. Unless you have one of those, um, you gotta you gotta lift the leg on these things. Bye.